I have made a huge mistake with two of my ant colonies. In this video, I'm going to show you how I solved this problem and how you as an ant keeper can prevent making it. As you know, ant keepers need to make sure that their ants have enough food, water and nesting place. You even need to clean up their trash. When an ant keeper does one of those four things incorrectly, the ants and the colony can be harmed or even be killed. The first mistake I made was giving my Camp Nautis Maculatus colony too much food. If your ant colony doesn't eat all of the food you give them, mold can start growing on top of the leftover pieces of food. Mold can be very harmful to the ant colony, especially the brood and queen inside of the nest. So I had to take a look inside of the nest to see if the mold had spread to the nest. Luckily there was no mold inside of the nest and the queen had laid a few eggs which meant that she was healthy and the colony was doing great. So I swiftly started to clean out the mold inside of the outbuild. After I cleaned the outbuild, I gave the ants new sand that looked a bit more natural. The next mistake I made has to do something with the nesting space of an ant. Inside of this container lives my Panera queen ant and she is a semi-colostial species. Normally when I place a queen ant or ant colony inside of such a container, I use sand as the substrate. But I decided to do something new, so I used cocoa peat instead, which was not a great idea. This is because the cocoa peat had some moisture inside of it, which made it the perfect substrate for ants to dig their tunnels. I knew that the queen had dug a tunnel somewhere inside of the substrate because of the mound on the surface. So I decided to carefully search for the queen and relocate her and the brood inside of a test tube. After a few minutes of digging around, I found the queen and her brood in the corner of the container. I was very nervous that I had harmed the brood whilst I was moving them to the test tube. One week later and everything was going great. The queen was healthy and one of her larvae had turned into a cocoon. Lastly, I wanted to say thanks for watching and sticking to the very end of the video.